I'm excited to bring another large family grocery haul. This one's gonna be a little bit different this time though. Um, in this grocery haul today, what I'm gonna be sharing with you is what we picked up at our local farmer's market. and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to bring another large family grocery haul. This one's gonna be a little bit different this time though. Um, in this grocery haul today, what I'm gonna be sharing with you is what we picked up at our local farmer's market. And then I also went shopping at Walmart um, and some of the things that I picked up there to help with a bit of a lifestyle change in our diet for our household. So it's a total family lifestyle change. It's not just for my husband's weight loss journey, but he is currently on a weight loss journey, but we're trying to focus on it being more of um, a lifestyle change more than a diet, um, because those tend to be a bit more successful from all the studies that we have done. Anyway, if you like videos like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And subscribe if you're not already and click the bell for notifications so you never miss when one of my videos drops. All right, let's get into this healthy Okay, food. so the first part of the haul came from the farmer's market, our local farmer's market. Um, and the cool thing about our farmer's market that I found out today, I spent $20 at the farmer's market. Now one thing is, two things are missing from this. There'll be one peach missing because we already ate it. And um, a muffin, we bought a lemon poppy seed muffin because my eight year old went with me today when I was shopping and so that was his breakfast was a homemade muffin. Okay, so I got a dozen corn and I think it cost me $6 to buy these through our local farmer's market. Um, normally we go with a brand that's really, really local to our area of sweet corn that everybody gets. It's called Finsel's and it's very, very popular in the area that we live. Um, but I didn't see their stand until later in the day so I thought I would try somebody else. I think um, it was called Janie's Sweet Corn, if I'm correct. And it was about a dollar cheaper than what the normal dozen would be at this moment. Um, and then we picked up two green peppers. Now look at the size of these. These are like a bigger than my hand. So when I went to the grocery store, um, they were like half this size. So that's the difference in shopping locally and getting farm fresh produce is a lot of times it's gonna be a lot bigger. And of course you can get organic, a lot um, higher quality produce that you're gonna find. So that's one of the reasons that I decided to try to shop locally. I couldn't get everything I wanted. There's a lot of things that they didn't have that is just not local to um, our farms here. But what I could get and that I needed for the house, I picked up through there. So I got two green peppers. Um, we're actually gonna use these for tomorrow's dinner. Um, and I do need some more produce that I'm gonna pick up for a meal tomorrow night. And I'm gonna have my husband order that through our local Hy-Vee. So I will try to put that in here as well so that you can see what we're doing. And then I think I'll share a couple of our meals um, this week. Cause I know a few of you have asked for us to show how we utilize the food that we would purchase. So I'll try to share a couple of our meals with you this week. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased were some farm fresh peaches. Um, and these were from the Fensel stand. So when I, when I saw them, because they have some of the best, sweetest, juiciest peaches. So when I saw them there, I grabbed some of those. Um, and then this was from an Amish stand there. So I specifically go looking for the Amish stands when I go to the farmer's market because they have wonderful baked goods and um, they have great jellies and really, really sweet, tasty honey. So I will always try to search them out if they're around because they have such good stuff. So these are not a healthy part of the haul, but I picked these up as a special treat because my kids have not actually had these before. So these are Amish whoopie pies and I got them in three different flavors and we're all actually splitting them. Um, so everybody gets to try them. And <laughs> you can see we've already tried this one. So this is like the traditional whoopie pie. And then um, this one was a snickerdoodle one. 
and then there's a chocolate chip and these are so like this cookie is so soft I can't watch I can put my look at that see how soft it is <laughs> Okay, so that was our farmer's market haul. This part of the haul is from Walmart. So I got a bag of Granny Smith apples. My kids love green apples. It's probably their favorite. Um, and then I got a bag of Gala apples. And then I picked up some clementines. So this is all snacking items. And one of the things I'm working on making, and I haven't perfected it yet, are some um, healthy apple ring snacks. Um, so I'm looking for, or apple, apple crisps, I guess, that you make in the air fryer. The last time I did it, I think I sliced them a little bit too thick. Um, so this time I'm going to try to slice them a bit thinner and cook them at a higher temperature for a little bit longer and see if that doesn't help them really crisp up. But the house smelled amazing and they had a good flavor. They tasted a lot like apple pie. So I will share that with you after I've done that. And I do not use sugar on mine. I know some recipes call for sugar. I actually use honey instead, which is a much better natural sweetener. Okay, and then I picked up two lemons and some caramel rice cakes. These are a nice whole grain um, snack. And that's one of the things that we found when looking at like carbohydrates is whole grain carbohydrates are much better to have in your diet than like the white carbohydrates. Then I got some chocolate rice cakes and then this is for tonight's dinner. I got two whole chickens. Um, it was a pretty decent price. I know the price of chicken is up right now. I got these two for $16.39. So I don't know how that's comparable to um, meat in your area, but that's what it was running at our Walmart and Walmart tended to have the best price. Um, oh, I think I missed this too. I picked up some Italian parsley. We were looking it up. This is also for tonight's dinner. We were looking it up and um, it said that Italian parsley is supposed to have a good flavor. So we opted to go with that instead of, I think it's called curly parsley. Um, let's see. And then I got for snacking two bags of the white popcorn. This is also up in price. This was $2.26 a bag when I picked it up. And I think at Walmart, I spent $68. So that's not a lot for $68 in all honesty, but I did get some meat. So if you take that into account, that was a big chunk of that $68 purchase. And then I picked up a thing of the Tropical Drink Packets, the Skittles brand, for the kids. And then this one I picked up for myself, the Fruit Punch and a Peach Mango. And then this, I actually picked these up because believe it or not, these are low in sodium. They're only two calories. That's for about a quarter tablespoon. So it's actually, they're not really bad when it comes to um, what is in these. There's no sugar or anything in them. So this is a really good, like if you're on a weight loss journey, this is a great way to have a tasty snack with the popcorn um, and really make it flavorful. And both of these are, the, are that way. The white cheddar, which you guys know we love. If you've been watching our hauls long enough, you know we love the white cheddar seasoning. And then we, this time we got the garlic parmesan because my husband had requested it. And then I found this, this is the theater style. It's by Delish, I think, yeah, Delish is the brand. Um, it's a popcorn seasoning spray. And you guys, there's only two calories in it and there's nothing else. There's no, there's no additives. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, GMO-free. So you just spray it on and it gives you that butter flavor without it being butter. And then you can put some of this this on there as well and it'll be a nice tasty crunchy snack last thing I got which I'm gonna keep away from my food is catfish bait so I'm gonna try not to tip that I do not want to get it on me my husband and son are going fishing tomorrow they're gonna to try to stock up our freezer with some catfish along with other types of fish we love um, bluegill crappie uh, and there's another one and I just cannot think of it off of the top of my head that I really really love Oh, perch. That's probably one of my favorites to get in the house. So they're going to go fishing tomorrow and try to stock up our freezer with some fish from the Mississippi. All right, everybody. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye -bye.